Invisible Technologies has trained 80% of the world's top AI models. Both of those are incredible stats. Can you just tell us a little bit more about what that process actually looks like? Large language models, uh, they're not like traditional machine learning, right? They're non-deterministic. They're based on neural nets. They do some funky things. I think of a large language model like an enthusiastic teenager. It really wants to answer questions and it wants to get smart. But if you want a teenager to learn something, like there are some ways you can teach them, right? You could, for example, you could take them to a library or you could give them a load of homework or you could set them a test. We kind of do all those three things. When you, when you hear supervised fine tuning, or reinforcement learning via human feedback or evaluations, that's actually one of those three things. So supervised fine tuning is giving a model loads of real high quality examples of data sets to look like. That's taking your model to the library and saying, here's some textbooks to read. It's gonna read the textbooks, they'll tell you what's true. Reinforcement learning is, okay, you're gonna give the model some questions, it'll give some answers and you're gonna say if those answers are good or not. Like you might ask the model to write me a poem about um, Russia. And then you'll you'll check that poem and you'll have something about what if that poem is good or bad and you'll give it so great yeah. and it'll learn from that. And so that's reinforcement learning or you can call it reward modeling. You're basically allowing you to change the way you reward your model for different types of answers. Mm -hmm. And then evaluation is building the like the test the model has to take to understand if it's good because companies will release loads of different versions of models and they've got to understand if it's better or worse.